So if you've ever needed a reason to dust off that old teleprompter or to go buy one, link in the description, here's your reason why. So I've had this Padcaster Parrot teleprompter sitting around for a while and I thought, it's time to try to use this thing, hook it up and see how it works. But then I realized, ooh, I'm gonna need to write a script. I went, well, I'll worry about that later. As I was putting it together, something clicked. And then I realized that's the sound it makes when it hooks to the lens ring. <laughs> But something else also clicked in my brain, and that is my phone's in the teleprompter running the app, but my phone also lets me play back video, have video conversations over iMessage or Zoom or Skype. So why not use it for that while it's in the teleprompter? And then I could film myself while I'm talking to somebody over a virtual call. Hmm. It's an interesting idea. Now, unfortunately, it was two in the morning when I got this idea, so I didn't have anyone else to call other than my friend Lou from Sweet Lou Photography. So I dialed it in, and there it is. Hey, Lou, how's it going? Bad. <laughs> it actually worked. This is pretty cool, because I'm looking directly at you on my phone, but I'm also yeah. looking directly and in deep into my camera lens. But I want to see if there's any aliasing from the reflection, because usually with a teleprompter, it's just black and white. For my little experiment, I used the teleprompter that I had on hand, which is this Parrot teleprompter. You can use any teleprompter that you have or want to get. That's what's so great about this idea. The Parrot teleprompter has a few limitations, one being the way the phone mounts into it. It has a built-in clamp. And in this case, I'm using an iPhone 5S, which is almost too small for this. It's just on the very bottom end of fitting in here correctly. And my iPhone 6S with a case is a little finicky as well. But one of the things I like about this teleprompter is that I can rotate it sideways so it's horizontal and my phone can be positioned like this. So depending on the app that I'm using to have the conversation, I'll have the optimal view of the person I'm talking to. You can see here that I had to modify the clip a little bit using this popsicle stick. That's just to make sure my phone didn't fall out. So at this point, if you're asking yourself, why would I even need something like this? Then chances are you don't need something like this. But I appreciate you watching this far. This is specifically for high resolution recordings. If you're filming yourself on your good camera, your good camera, you want to look directly at the camera. And usually if you have experience with this, you know that you have to look at the call and then you look over at the camera and address the camera. This lets you look directly at the camera the whole time, not needing to do all that. But wait, there's more. With the phone in there, I found that I could also play back and watch videos. So if you're doing a video commentary, instead of looking over to the side and then staring back at the camera, you can just be looking forward the whole time. And the specific Parrot teleprompter comes with this Bluetooth remote, which allows you to control the video playback so you can pause it anytime you need to comment on things. I only did a few experiments with the video playback and it seemed to work really well. I was a little worried with the mirror inside the teleprompter reflecting a little bit of the video content and I didn't notice anything in my tests, but there might be some limitations. As I said before, this idea can be used with any teleprompter. The only reason I'm using the Parrot teleprompter is because I had it on hand and I was experimenting with it already. If you don't have a teleprompter and want to experiment with something like this, the Frugal Filmmaker did a great tutorial showing how to make your own teleprompter. Thanks again, Lou, for helping me out. Check out the links in the description if you're interested in this specific teleprompter. I'll put some links to some other options if I find any. Thanks for watching. Knob Top, go make something. Camera. He doesn't have a neck strap on because I like to run and gun. Whoa. Whoa, what? What just happened there? Look at that, huh? I want to show you how to make a quick wrist strap for your camera. Interesting.